Hello everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Pug Crusade and today I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on this year's Wild Horse Islands fall update. I have played this update a little bit so far, not a ton, but I've played enough to the point where I feel confident that I can give like a decent review and nothing massive is going to change yet. So I feel like it's pretty okay for me to go ahead and start yapping, you know? Little disclaimer before we get in here, these are all my thoughts and opinions. You can have different ones. If you like something I say I don't like or you don't like something I like, feel free to tell me why down below in the comments, but please keep it respectful. With all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to be going over in this update is the currency, since that is kind of what everything revolves around and how you buy things and just do things in general. So as normal, the fall currency is the fall tokens. You can buy them in the Robux if you really want to. Do not recommend because they are very unfair prices. But to earn them, there is a ton of different ways you can do so, most of which are marked on the map. We have the fertilizer garden up here, giant pumpkin farm down here. Here. On this side over here, we have the races as well, which will give you some, like the hay bale hop. Uh, the big rock pile is a good way to do it as well. And you can also just find them laying around sometimes. And of course, you can get them from the training arena by training your horses if you really want to. If you were to ask me personally what my favorite way of getting autumn tokens so far has been, it is the big rock pile. And that is because you get quite a few tokens for just dragging a rock around. And if you have horses with good maxed out stats, it goes so fast. I just got 18 from that. So you can get a hundred tokens in probably like five or f five or six rocks like it's it's very good for like how many that you can do and they respawn quickly to it so it's not like you have to wait like 30 minutes before you can do it again you can do it almost immediately because by the time you get back there the ones up here are respawning other than that i quite like doing the races and training my horses just because they're kind of monotonous things i guess that you can do while listening to music and that type of thing and i actually just got a maple key from that so we will be going over those next as they are technically also part of the currency so to do stuff with the maple keys you have to come up here to this kind of corn maze race this big like podium I guess type of thing I don't really know what it's called but it's behind the corn maze all the way back here and here we are so what you can do here is you just go up to this chest and just drop your keys in and if you give it keys it will pop out accessories and prizes occasionally hair dyes that type of thing just like normal events in wild horse islands and then as you guys can see there are goals if you give 30 you get a red squirrel plus 100 an autumn glow paint horse 225 a s'mores dutch warm blood and up and up I personally think the currency for this fall event is a lot better than most of the currencies in other events, like the winter event especially, I've always thought has been a bit unfair of the way that they get you to get currency. Just the way that you get small amounts of the currency versus how expensive everything are, but I relatively feel like this year everything is fairly thought out, like decently well. Like I played for, what, 15 minutes not too long ago and got 621 because I started because I started playing before I was recording. So I already had like 500 something when I started and just from that little bit I'm at 621, 29 now. So it just it goes so much faster than I feel like it has in other years that I feel like it's kind of a better exchange rate. Next thing we'll be going over is the things that you can purchase with the currency. So yes, this is including horses and the event shop, because who doesn't like spending money? So first of all, to get to the event shop, you just go to Larry and click up here and you get this tab. I will say a lot of this is from previous years, like the pumpkin pie slice, the apple face pin, you know, just a lot of it is from previous years that a lot of people liked. Like, I feel like this has been here for at least three years. I, I don't know. It just seems like I've seen this every single year I've played. This right here, like this uh, s'more, that's definitely new. A lot of the hair dyes are definitely new. This is new. So there is some new stuff and I think a lot of it's actually pretty cool. So yeah, definitely make sure that you come by here and check it out to purchase some cool accessories before they're gone so you don't have to trade for them. I have seen from experience fall really cute 
few fall accessories go for a lot in markets. And of course, we can't talk about things that you purchase with your money without talking about these little cuties, the horses. So here we have one of the glow shimmer paint horses. I don't really remember what they're called here. I actually have one of these guys. I caught it within like the 15 minutes I first started playing. Autumn Glow. I am going to be perfectly honest. I think this is one of the weaker designs for this event. It's kind of random. Kind of feels like they got those two over there and then just we're kind of like we need a, a lower tier what what can it be i guess i guess this will work it's just kind of random but it's not a horrible design like it's not ugly or anything it's just kind of strange i guess moving on to the second highest tier event we have the s'mores dutch warm blood just named s'mores honestly fair <laughs> uh i really like the design actually i think it's pretty cute i like that they didn't just plaster s'mores all over it because i felt like that was something they could have done that would have been really not cool but i like that they kind of just went for more of almost an appaloosa type of marking but still incorporated the s'mores like i i think it looks really good honestly i like it a lot and finally, the highest tier event horse is the Pat Shire, I'm pretty sure it's called, something like that. And I think this one's adorable. I really did not think I was going to like it. I thought it was going to be really ugly, but I guess maybe it's a scarecrow. But it, either way, it's, it, it's adorable. I really like it and I have no clue why. I just think it's cute. The buttons right here are really cute. All the different color patches work well. It has like a little bit of almost makeup on its face, which is kind of funny to me, but it still works decently well. So I like it in general. I think all of them came out pretty well. And finally, before we wrap up, there is also this little section in the middle of the corn maze that we also had last year. It's in this little like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I know the like I, I know the word for these things but I always forget them anyway this little thing you have to go through the entirety of the corn maze and then you can get to it here at the end and we have the apple basket which eventually if you do it enough times will give you a golden apple horse so let's see if I can get lucky with the apples that I have right now we'll see And nope, no, no horses for me, but I do have an example for you guys to see what they look like. This is one of the golden apple horses I have. It is a golden apple thoroughbred, and this is golden french fry. Obvious reasons he was named. <laughs> so yeah, you can get these in any breed, and they're pretty neat little guys. Alrighty, everybody, that is going to wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below. I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, and I hope to see you guys really soon. Goodbye!